good morning students i am guru priya this is a basic mathematical class for 9th standard today we have to see that very basic method sign clarification of basic operations like addition subtraction division multiplication in this video contains only two flow chart this flow, flow chart explains sign clarification of addition and subtraction multiplication and division we move on to your first flow chart this flow chart explains addition and subtraction sign rule whatever sum is given in the addition and subtraction sums first we suggest the sum contains same sign or different sign first we suggest the sum contains same sign or different sign if the sum contains a same sign you will do this if the sum contains a different sign you will proceed these steps we see in example 1 we see the example 1 97 plus 26 plus 30 these three numbers contain same sign that sign is a plus that means addition subtraction sum contains a same sign means first you do it add the numbers so i can add 7 plus 6 13 One nine plus one ten ten plus two twelve twelve plus three fifteen. Your second step is put the same sign. So here plus is the same sign. So I will put plus. Therefore the answer is plus hundred and fifty three. Whatever sum is given in the addition and subtraction, first we will suggest the sign is the same sign. Then we will add the number to the same sign. We move on to our next example. See the example two minus ninety seven minus twenty six minus thirty. These three numbers contain same sign minus. That means we will proceed these two steps. First, add the numbers and put the same sign. First, you add the numbers. Seven plus six thirteen. One nine plus one ten. Ten plus two twelve. Twelve plus three. Fifteen. It's a minus. It's the same sign. That sign is minus. So I will put a minus sign. So this is for your first thing. Whatever sum is given in the addition and subtraction, first we will we'll suggest the sign is the same. Then we will proceed these two things. First, you must add the numbers and put the same sign. Next, we move on to second thing. Different sign. Suppose the sum contains a different sign. First, we subtract the numbers and put the greater number sign. So, move on to your example three. Eighty-two plus thirty-six minus twenty-two. These three numbers have the same sign. It have the two numbers have the same sign. One number is a different sign. That means this sum contains a different sign. First, we gather in same sign numbers. That means eighty-two and thirty-six have the same. Sign. So same sign means first we will add two plus six eight, eight plus three eleven. That same sign is plus. So your answer is hundred and eighteen. Eighty two plus thirty six combined hundred and eighteen minus twenty two. That means hundred and eighteen is positive. Twenty two is negative. So one plus sign one minus sign. Therefore, this number contains a different sign. Different sign means first we will subtract this numbers eight minus two, six. One minus two is not possible. So borrowing neighbor number. Therefore, one becomes eleven. Eleven minus two nine. Which is a greater number? Hundred and eighteen. Hundred and eighteen having a plus sign. Therefore, your answer is plus ninety six. Therefore, eighty two plus thirty six minus twenty two is equal to ninety six. Next, we move on to your example four. See the question minus eighty two minus thirty six plus twenty two. These three numbers contains different sign. Therefore, first we gather in same sign numbers. That means minus eighty two minus thirty six have a same sign. So, if you have a same sign, you will add it. Two plus six, eight. Eight plus three, eleven. It's the same sign as minus. So, I will put minus. I will gather these two numbers. I will get minus hundred and eighteen plus twenty two. That means these two numbers contains different sign. That means you must subtract them. Eight minus two, six. 
1 minus 2 is not possible. Borrowing your neighbor 1. Therefore, 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 2, 9. Your greater number is minus. So, I will put minus. So, your answer is minus 96. First, example 1 and 2 explain same sign. 3 and 4 explains are different sign. Once again, I am told that whatever sum is given in the addition and subtraction, first we will suggest the sum contains same sign or different sign. The sum contains same sign. You will add the numbers and put that same sign. The sum contains a different sign. You will subtract first and put the greater number sign. This is for your addition and subtraction sign clarification. Next, we move on to multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction. I will give a homework for you. These five sums you will add and sub to your class notebook. Next, we will move on to your multiplication and division. This flowchart explains sign clarification of multiplication and division. Whatever sum is given in your multiplication and division sum, first we will suggest it's same sign or different sign. The sum contains same sign. You will put the plus sign. You will put the plus sign. The sum contains different sign. You will put the minus sign. And your sum is multiply. You are multiply. Your sum is divide. You divide. Move on to your example 1. See this 56 into 2. 56 is plus. 2 is a plus. It have a same number. Therefore, your answer is same number. 2, 6 are 12. 1 reminder. 5, 2 is a 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Therefore, your answer is 112. 56 divide 2. So, 56 divided by 2. 5 in 2 table. 2, 2 is a 4. 5 minus 4, 1. 6 16, 2 8s are 16, that means 0. So, 56 divided by 2 is equal to 28. All the sums you are multi multiply and divide and you are notice that your sign is important. If the same sign, you will put plus. It's a different sign, you will put minus. 56 into 2, 112. 56 divided by 2, 28. Both are same sign, so I will put plus sign. Next, we move on to our example 2. Example 2, 56 into 2, you multiply 112 and is a minus sign, it's a plus sign, it's a different sign, that means you will put minus. It's a minus, it's a plus, it's a different sign, so you will put minus. Minus 56 minus 22, this sum contains same sign, so you will put plus. Minus 56 divide minus 2, this sum contains same sign, so you will put plus. Example 4. 56 into minus 2. This sum contains different sign. You will put minus. 56 divide minus 2. This sum contains different sign. So you will put minus. So example 1. Example 1, 2, 3, 4. Explain sign clarification of multiplication and division. This video class is very important for all the students because of many of the students mistaken by the basic operations for sign only. This is for homework for your multiplication and division. This is a sign clarification sum. That's why I am taking only sign related sums. I am giving only easiest table for you. This is for sign related sums. You will put correct sign. You will do your notebook. Thank you students.